five grocery snacks for stable blood sugar levels. The concept of snacking is so interesting because you eat the right stuff and it can actually help you with weight loss and even improving your insulin sensitivity. But eat stuff like oat biscuits, protein bars which are loaded with a whole lot of artificial sweeteners or fresh fruit juices and your body gets totally different information and does exactly the opposite. Here are five snacks that you can pick up from a grocery store that are healthy, that are absolutely delicious and that will also help you stabilize your blood sugar levels so you don't feel hungry too often. Number one, dark chocolate. Now it's no surprise that dark chocolate, of course if it's the right one, is packed with a whole lot of flavonols and antioxidants, sometimes even more than those random green tea bags that we have or red wine. But make sure you pick something which is above 70% and most preferably with coconut sugar or monk fruit sweetener, not stuff like maltitol or sucralose. Now if it's vegan, it's a lot better because there's an added advantage for your gut then. Most good vegan brands have cacao butter and not hydrogenated fat, so please check for that too. It's sort of a no-brainer that if you're craving for something sweet, then picking up a dark chocolate over, you know, things like donuts or pastries is always a better option. I like adding uh, some salted pistachios on the side for that extra protein. And yes, a little bit of salt is not an issue at all. The second thing you can pick up is coconut chunks. Now, coconut chunks are a great high-fat snack. 89% of this fat is in the form of MCTs, which means these are basically medium-chain triglycerides. They get directly absorbed into your small intestine and they're used by by your body for energy. They behave a lot like carbs, metabolically they behave like carbs, but they don't give you that sugar spike. It also helps your good cholesterol levels and reduces the amount of bad cholesterol. Now, coconuts are loaded with fiber. So again, great for your gut. They also help in improving the amount of bacteria called Privotella, which specifically works for weight loss. If you have enough Privotella, you'll speed up the rate at which you actually lose weight. Number three, you can pick up some nuts. These are the easiest and one of my favorite high fat snacks. The vegan protein in them also helps too and most nuts will help improving in your lipid profile. So when I have clients who don't have a good ratio of HDL to LDL, adding two portions of nuts always works. They have a relatively higher percentage of omega-3 fats in them in the form of ALA or alpha linoleic acid. By no means do I mean that you can get all your omega-3 from walnuts. You have to take a supplement. Flax seeds won't work either, but a little bit more on supplements later on. If you're someone who's dealing with imbalanced sugar levels, IgT, metabolic disorders like type 2 diabetes, or even if you have type 1 diabetes, a handful of nuts is honestly the perfect snack. The fourth thing on this list would be olives. Now, olives contain a whole lot of fat, but 74% of this fat is in the form of oleic acid. It's a type of mufa. Now, it's the main component of olive oil. Oleic acid is actually linked to several health benefits, including decreased inflammation and a reduced risk to heart diseases. And here's a cool fact. Oleic acid actually prevents the oxidation of LDL. And it's basically the bad stuff that happens to you when you smoke or when you reheat cooking oils. I really enjoy having pickled olives. And the good thing is that a handful of olives gives me just two grams of carbs. It's literally the dream snack for anyone who's looking to eat a low carb diet. Last on this list, hummus and vegetable chips. Now, if you're really on the go and you have no time, you can actually use this as lunch, you know, because chickpeas and sesame seeds, they reduce markers like IL-6 and CRP. Both of these are eliminated during inflammatory diseases like arthritis. Try and choose maybe bell pepper hummus over the regular one because bell peppers actually protect your brain from inhibiting a myeloid protein, which is one of the biggest reasons for Alzheimer's disease. Now, veggie chips are a great alternative to regular chips. You could even make these at home in an air fryer if you want or pick up regular vegetable sticks like cucumber and carrots, maybe some celery as well, and pair it with hummus. Please do not, do not, do not buy vegetable chips that are fried in sunflower oil or any other kind of inflammatory oils. Then I'd rather you have hummus with like potato chips and you get, sometimes you do find potato chips which are fried in coconut oil or even olive oil. Those are definitely better than you putting inflammatory high omega-6 oils in your body. So the next time you walk into a grocery store, I want you to think about the ingredients of each snack and how that will actually affect your blood sugar levels. Once you master the art of stabilizing your blood sugar levels by choosing low carb, high protein, high good fat varieties of snacks, you'll notice that you have fewer cravings and way better energy levels.